Sorry in advance, in this video I will not take attendance one by one who has commented on the previous video. But don't worry, I will still mention the names of those who commented on this video and the previous video. So, enjoy watching! We will discuss the exciting match between Chelsea and KAA Gent in the Europa Conference League. Let's take a look at the team conditions, tactics, and predicted results. Chelsea will start their Europa Conference League campaign at Stamford Bridge against KAA Gent. Enzo Maresca's side come into this game with confidence after a 4-2 win over Brighton in the Premier League. Enzo Maresca is expected to rotate his squad for this match. Cole Palmer is not included in the squad for this competition, so the attack will most likely be led by Christopher Nkunku, Pedro Neto, and Joao Felix, supported by Mikhailo Mudrik. Rhys James is the only player who is absent due to injury, while Romeo Lavia has just returned after a six-game absence. Chelsea are likely to play with a 4-2-3-1 formation. Philip Jorgensen will be in goal, with Josh Akimpong, Axel De Sassi, Benoit Badiashile, and Renato Vega in the back line. Romeo Lavia and Kiernan Dewsbury Hall will be the playmakers in midfield, while the attack will be filled by Mudrik, Joao Felix and Neto, with Nkunku as a striker. Meanwhile, Gent will likely use a 3-4-3 formation with Davy Rolf in goal. Stefan Mitrovic, Tsuyoshi Watanabe and Jordan Torunariga will be the defenders, while Noah Fadiga, Atsuki Ito, Matthias Delorge and Archie Brown will make up the midfield. Omri Gandelman and Max Dean will be the threats up front. We predict Chelsea will win 3-1 against KAA Gent. Although Gent have experience in Europe, Chelsea's strength and current form make them the favourites in this match. What are your predictions for this match? Leave a comment below. Today, we look at Chelsea's match against Gent in their UEFA Europa Conference League opener. Let's take a look at the team's form and what coach Enzo Maresca has to say. Chelsea are in good shape ahead of the game, with almost all of their players available except for one, Captain Rhys James. Rhys James, 24, has struggled with injuries in recent seasons. He has yet to feature for Chelsea this season after suffering a hamstring injury. Despite taking part in the pre-season tour of the US, James has again been ruled out. Maresca confirmed that James is the only player who will miss out, explaining, they are all available except for those who are not in the Conference League squad, and Reese is not available. Meanwhile, Cole Palmer, Wesley Fofana, Ben Chilwell, and Romeo Lavia are also not in the squad to face Gent. Maresca stressed the importance of giving everyone a chance to play. Chelsea are in good form with five games unbeaten, including four wins in a row. Maresca stated, We will try to do our best. He wants his team to perform optimally in this competition. Maresca emphasized that they do not take the Europa Conference League lightly. They want to become the first team to win all major European club competitions after previously winning the Champions League and Europa League, Maresca said. They are official competitions. We are happy and excited for tonight's match. He also reminded that the team must focus on every match to achieve the best results. The match against Gent is an opportunity for Chelsea to show their quality in the European arena. What are your hopes for Chelsea in the Europa Conference League? Leave a comment below. Next, we will discuss the latest statement from Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano regarding Rhys James and the situation at Chelsea. Let's take a deeper look at what Romano said and how James is currently doing. Fabrizio Romano stated that even though Rhys James has had recurring injury problems, Chelsea still values him highly. In a video on his YouTube channel, Romano explained that the club's management still considers James a key player, both as a right back and as a leader in the dressing room. Romano said, I can guarantee that the current management still considers Rhys James a very valuable player, of course as a right back and as a leader in the dressing room. He continued that Chelsea are very happy with James's presence and show their love for the player, even though he has not played in a competitive match since the start of this season. Under new coach Enzo Maresca, Chelsea have started the season without James. Although Malo Gusto has performed quite well in the right-back position, it cannot be denied that James's quality is world-class. His presence in the team is very important, 
Especially in terms of leadership and play, James is not only a solid defender, but he is also able to contribute in attack. His ability to play on both sides of the pitch is very rare for modern defenders today. Chelsea really needs his presence back so that they can continue the positive momentum that Maresca and the team are building. Rhys James is an integral part of Chelsea, and despite the injury problems that continue to bother them, the club management still believes in and loves him. Hopefully, he will recover soon and return to help the team on the field. Next we will discuss Robert Sanchez, Chelsea's goalkeeper who is currently being discussed. Can he still show his ability and become a star at Stamford Bridge? Let's see. Chelsea started this season quite well, achieving positive results in the league and cup competitions. However, behind the team's success, there were some problems. Robert Sanchez, who is only 26 years old, had a winding journey. He managed to regain his position as the main goalkeeper, but also made mistakes that cost the team, especially in the match against Brighton. After the mistake, Sanchez uploaded a message on Instagram showing his determination to rise again. This shows that he did not give up despite receiving a lot of criticism. Football expert Andy Townsend defended Sanchez despite the criticism directed at him. He argued that Sanchez has great potential to become a reliable goalkeeper if he can reduce mistakes. Townsend called Sanchez a goalkeeper with a big profile and good shot-saving ability. However, there are concerns about his ball distribution and decision-making abilities that need to be improved. While Chelsea need to keep Sanchez as the main goalkeeper to see if his performance can be stable, they also have to think about the future. Philip Jorgensen, a young 22-year-old goalkeeper, should be given a chance to play in all cup games. This will give him valuable experience and tell whether he can replace Sanchez in the future. Chelsea must realize that they need a world-class goalkeeper in the long term. Whether Robert Sanchez can live up to that expectation is still a question mark. What do you think about Robert Sanchez? Can he be Chelsea's main goalkeeper? Leave a comment below. Next, we will discuss the surprising statement from John Obi Mikel regarding the performance of Chelsea goalkeeper Robert Sanchez and how this could affect Chelsea's chances in the Premier League title race. Let's take a look. In the match against Brighton, Sanchez made several costly errors that led to two goals from the opponent. He failed to anticipate a high ball towards Jorginho Rutter and gave the ball easily to Carlos Baleba who took the opportunity. Obi Mikel, who has won two league titles with Chelsea, expressed his concerns about Sanchez. He stated that the Spanish goalkeeper could be a hindrance to Chelsea's ambitions to become a champion. Obi Mikel believes that in order to become a champion team, Chelsea need a better goalkeeper. Although admitting that Sanchez is a fantastic goalkeeper, he stressed the importance of having a more stable and reliable goalkeeper. Mikel asserted, if he wants to be a top goalkeeper, he needs to show better performances. He also mentioned that Sanchez is not good at controlling the ball, which can be a problem in the modern game. Despite the criticism pouring in for Sanchez, coach Enzo Maresca still gave his support. He said Sanchez's mistake was also part of the team's overall mistake and did not want to add pressure to Jorgensen. Chelsea need to evaluate their goalkeeping situation if they are to compete for the Premier League title. Can Robert Sanchez improve his performance? What do you think of Chelsea's current goalkeepers? Is Sanchez worth keeping, or is it time to replace him? Leave a comment below.